Here in week five, we continue with a new chapter, chapter four. The focus of this chapter are adjusting entries. Now, up to this point, we've seen transactions and how to record those as debits and credits in the general journal. And now we're seeing that at the end of an accounting cycle, some of those accounts need to have the amounts adjusted. Perhaps there are revenues that need to be recorded or expenses that need to be matched to the same time period as those revenues that were earned. Another option is we have resources that have been used up. The amount of supplies, for example, that we purchased is no longer there, at least not all of it, because we have used some of them. Perhaps there were dollars that we had collected and were recorded as a liability that now a portion of that has been earned. So those are examples that we have for our adjusting entries. With it, w as I state here in the announcement, without those adjustments, some of those accounts would not have the correct balance. So even though our trial balance might balance, the dollar amounts would not uh, be correct and reflect accurately the situation for the company. I, I do make an announcement uh, reference to some of the tools that are available, so let's take a look in our course content. Here for week five, we have our adjusting entries and some questions that need or we should be able to answer by the time we get to the end of our chapter. As we see, this information for our requirements is as is stated on the syllabus, where for the actual coursework that earns points, we have our submission of homework and the discussion board. Recognizing that both of those are components that earn points, and if you opt to do one but not the other, it will impact your grade negatively. Within this Rebecca's Extras folder, I have included a variety of resources to assist you in learning the material. So far, I have two videos um, related to our topic information and just talking through to help you understand the material. Exercise 4-1, there have been a variety of questions about what does, uh, what is, uh, what do they want? So this helps us to understand or gives clarification for that. And of course I have the link then to this Cengage Now so that you can complete your assignment. Other pieces that we see in our week five folder, notice the discussion board. This is required, two postings are required and just taking a look, uh, right now there are four threads. Uh, additional threads will be added and you are certainly welcome to add one. Just make sure that you put uh, what that topic is in the subject line. Uh, you are encouraged to read all of these discussion offerings because it helps you to work through the information. Repetition, learning the material and the more that you verbalize within there, potentially, the more that you will learn because it's actively working with the information. For that discussion board, I do require one posting by Sunday evening to help facilitate discussion throughout the week rather than all postings take place on Tuesday evening and uh, Sometimes we don't even then see what someone else has posted because there's not adequate time for the rollover of that information within the system. Notice I have included the Cengage Now web link also. Same thing as what I had in Rebecca's Extras. And that is for completing your homework assignment. Notice this with messages. It's like email within Blackboard. It allows you to send me communication and uh, using here within Blackboard in this message area, then it, it keeps it very clear to me which class that you're in. Another option for communication is the administrative 
thread discussion board. This is for items that are outside our weekly topic area. And so you are encouraged if you have a question or comment or a gripe of some kind, you are certainly welcome to use this administrative thread. Now, Blackboard is our online classroom, but we also have online resource for homework submission as well as uh, extra resources that we have. So notice here, uh, we're down here with chapter four. Here's your assignment. If you wanted additional exercises, those are available. And some study tools that include the textbook and questions to help you work through the material. I do encourage you, if you have questions or problems as you're completing your assignment, please use the resource of within our Blackboard, the discussion board, or the message area, or give me a jingle on the phone. But I do encourage you to communicate with me so that your questions are answered. Uh, my goal is for you to maximize your learning, and if there's something that's a hurdle for you, give me, communicate with me so that we can get you over that hurdle and move forward. I come back here to our Blackboard to encourage you that your grades are recorded here in Blackboard, so I do encourage you to, throughout the semester, uh, view this and make sure that I'm getting your scores recorded correctly. The information from Cengage is manually brought back here to Blackboard. And the items that I grade are the required items as well as tests. These other, the extras and the study tools, although in Cengage they appear to have a grade or points next to them, they are not required. However, for me to look at somebody's work, they have a question and have communicated with me and I go to look, I have to have a, a points assigned for me to see your work. So that's why, although every item here in Cengage has points assigned to it, the only ones that are brought back into Blackboard in the gradebook for our term are these that are required. So keep watch of those. I try to get the gradebook updated by Friday afternoons. Uh, but if, if you notice by Tuesday, as we're finishing the next week, it's still not in there, please let me know. Uh, sometimes I get sidetracked, I have looked at the work and I just forget to put the grades in, or maybe it didn't stick within Blackboard. But your feedback is very helpful and essential to me. So have a great week and I look forward to hearing from you if needed.